Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to count the number of character in a string. So let's say we have one string variable. The name of the variable is string and this is the content of the string. So here we have the content Code Crush. So we need to count how many number of characters present in this string. So to get the all available characters in the string, you can directly make use of length function of Python. So let me show you that. So you can directly print print length so length will give the length of the variable and inside that you need to pass the string here so once you pass your string we save this and run now so here we are getting 10 why we are getting here 10 if you check the size let's say c so 1 then o2 d3 e4 then c5 r6 u7 s8 and h9 so there are total nine characters but here we are getting the output as 10 so we are getting here 10 because when we say the length of string the entire length is counted means it also counts the spaces here so there is one space so that's why we are getting here 10 and how these values are stored inside the string means the indexing so for zeroth position c will be stored for first position o will be stored for second position d for third position e and so on so here we are getting the length of string means total number of characters we are able to get with the help of this function length now what i want to do i want to find like how many times the character c is repeated inside this string so how i can find this so that can also be done with the help of a function called count so how to use the count function here so first you need to provide the name of the variable which is string then you not need to provide dot and then you have the count built in function so once you provide count it takes the parameter here so what parameter it takes you need to provide the character that you want to search here so i need to search c so it will provide me how many times c has been used in this string so here you can see c is used two times so it should give me output two let me run this code so see we are getting here 2 because c is used 2 times so in this way you can identify how many times the character has been repeated inside this string now we had hard coded this string so now what we will do we will accept this string from the user and then we will ask which character the user wants to search and then we will try to search that character so let's make the enhancement in the code now let me remove this part here i will accept this string from the user enter string so once we get the string then we will provide the message here print print operation to perform operation to perform let's provide two options first one is for total length means it will provide the total length of the entire entered string and second option for count of character means if you want to search for any character then you can make use of that so input character now we will check for and we will accept that with one variable let's say choice choice and then we will accept it input now if choice is equal equal to 1 then we will print here print length of string because for the first option we need to print the total length let's run this code first to check whether it is working correctly or not so enter string let's say hello now we are getting your options operation to perform first one is for total length second is count of characters so i will enter one only because we haven't provided the condition for second option yet so one so see we are getting here phi as the output why we are getting here phi because we have entered the characters phi like h e l l o so total number of characters are phi now else if 
choice equal equals to 2 then if choice is equal to 2 then we need to count the number of characters so we need to first take the input from the user so let's say char is the name of variable input enter character so we need to take the input from the user to take take the character that we want to count in the string so once we get this character then we will check whether that character is available inside the string let's say user has entered the string hello and he is trying to search z in this string so z is not available here right so we need to check that condition here so if char if char in string we have learned about this membership operator it is used to check whether that particular character is available inside the string or not with the help of membership operator if that is available then we will directly print here print string dot count and inside the count you need to pass this char now char and if that character is not available in the string then you need to provide your message else print character not available character not available now let's come out of this else loop and else if condition so we had used if condition for choice one else if condition for choice two and let's say someone enters like another choice and different from one and two so we need to handle that it in the else block so else we will print the message invalid choice invalid choice now let's save this code and run now so enter string so we are getting your first message enter string so let's enter code crush code crush so once we get then we it will print this message operation to perform total length or count of character so let's say this time we need to count the character so i will press here two so we are getting that message that we have entered in the choice to option so enter character let's say i want to enter c now so here we will see c so c is used two times see we are getting a message two and our condition is satisfied then once we get it inside the string we will print this message so else is ignored and this outer else is also ignored now let's run this code again to check another condition so enter string hello again we need to take count and now we are trying to search z and z is not available here right so we are getting the message character not available and the last condition that we need to check let's say enter string hi and here we have the two options total length for one and count of character two and i entered something phi here then we are getting message invalid choice so in this way you can check the total number of characters inside the string also any specific character also what i want to search here let me run this code again let's say i'm searching for hello string and i want to count of character and i am entering here el so see it is also giving the substring means you just not need to provide a single character you can also provide a substring here like a sequence here el was present a single time then we are getting here one so in this way you can check and uh, play around this code so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching Thank you.